We're in a new world now. Phoebe, you're gonna show them how you always win in the end. But then you start losing again. So, Phoebe, please stop confusing me, Phoebe. Just keep amusing me. You can't learn crime from a book, but you're a killer whenever you cook. And though you may stumble and make the boys grumble, you always keep trying to see how much help you can be. Not much. Hey, Phoebe! Tommy! I didn't even hear you come in. Oh, boy, have I no, missed I you. No, 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 relax. I was only gone six hours. Six hours and 22 minutes. Boy, did I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe, I don't think we should do this in front of the money. Tommy, why are you always using this broken down luggage that falls apart every time you touch it? Why don't you use our good luggage? I have a set of Gucci and you have two sets of Poochie. Use your Gucci and Poochie the places I go. The idea is not to be noticed. With your fancy Gucci Poochie, they'll be spotting me in two minutes. Well, if your luggage falls apart like this on the street, you'll be spotted even faster than that, Poochie. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, that will be the end of the Tom Terrific cash and carry plan. <laughs> boy, oh boy, look at some of these. Now, Tommy, I know the dollar is supposed to be in bad shape, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe if you like. I'll have the boys take a course with Emily Post. But in the meantime, I'm quite happy having them rake in the cash, stuff them in a bag I come by, I shove it in my suitcase. I don't give marks for neatness. Well, what are you getting upset for? I'm the one who always winds up untangling it, straightening it, and filing it away. Oh, come on. Sit over there and have a cup of coffee. And then, tell me what's bothering you. I'll tell you what's bothering me. Two guys parked on our lawn watching our house is what's bothering me. Two guys? Who? Who are the two snoopiest, nosiest investigators you know? Woodward and Bernstein. Are they outside? <laughs> No, Woodward and Bernstein. Much worse. Mazzacotti and Schultz. You're kidding. The FBI again. You're right. Look at that. Schultz is waving to me. Hello, boys. You! <laughs> Don't do that. It only encourages them. I mean, how many times do I have to tell you, you don't fool around with the government? Why are they watching our house again today? I don't know. I think it's got something to do with a rumor I heard last night. I stopped by to see Tony the Tank, Tuscalini. He says they're reopening the Senate committee investigating organized crime, and they're going to subpoena me to testify. How does he know? One of the guys who works for him told him. <gasps> you mean an informer? No. Some congressman from New Jersey. <laughs> I mean, but I don't have time for the stupid Senate committee. Look at who's got time to go down to the Senate where I'm gonna do is take the fifth anyway. Tommy, they're not gonna let you drink in the Senate. <laughs> no. No, no, sweetheart. It, it's the Fifth Amendment. See? I refuse to answer the questions on the grounds that it may tend to incriminate me. They do it all the time. You just don't answer the question. Oh, I see. Like the president does at a news conference? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, I got to get changed now. We got to get to work on this money. Squint dropped me off. He'll be back in a few minutes to give us a hand. OK, you change, and I'll make some breakfast. That's my girl. Uh, just stay away from that window. <laughs> Oh, okay. I promise. Hmm. Who was that? 
There was nobody there. Look on the floor. Do you see anything? Yes. What? George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, useless S. Grant. <laughs> Look there, honey, there! Oh. Tommy, there's a telegram. No. That's what I was afraid well, of. Well, I'm afraid of it, too. The last telegram I got said that my Aunt Sonia was dead. Well, look, now we know it's not from your Aunt Sonia. <laughs> Open it. Read it very slowly. <laughs> to me! Read it to me! <laughs> You're here by subpoena to appear as a witness before the Senate Crime Committee today, Monday, October 4th, at 2 p.m. Stop. Since these proceedings will be filmed for television, rebroadcast tonight, we request you to appear in appropriate attire. <laughs> Please, no leisure suits, medallions, or love beats. <laughs> Here's hoping we can get these hearings off to a good start. Stop, stop, start. <laughs> Signed, your Senate Crime Committee. Tommy, you're gonna be on television! <laughs> no leisure suits, medallions, or love beads. Who do they think I am, Sammy Davis Jr.? <laughs> I mean, those guys are looking to crucify me. What's appropriate attire for that? A blue shirt. <laughs> what are you talking about? Tommy, every article I've ever read in TV Guide says if you're going on television, you have to wear a blue shirt. It reflects the light or something. I don't want to reflect light. I don't want to reflect nothing. Why can't these guys leave me alone? I mean, the way they treat me, you think I was some sort of criminal? But, Tommy, you should feel very honored to appear in the Senate. Sweetheart, Italians never do good in the Senate. <laughs> Look what happened to Julius Caesar. What happened to Julius Caesar? They stabbed him on the Ides of March. <laughs> Tommy, You've got nothing to worry about. This is October. Now look at the time. I gotta get moving. Listen, when Squint comes, tell him to hold on. As soon as I'm dressed, he's to drive me to the airport. Now, let me get my stuff ready. Okay. Tommy, there's a fresh blue shirt in your bottom drawer. Thanks. Coming. Shh, 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 shh. Lewis! What on earth are you doing? I'm checking for bugs. <laughs> shh, shh. Why today? The FBI is outside. You can't trust them. I know, I know. All right. The joint looks clean. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Trust me, Mrs. G. You know what they say. Loose lips, shrink chips. No, no. I mean, loose links, shrink chinks, sh shrimp shrimps. I mean, loose links, shrimp lips. Louis! Sh Louis! Sh Louis! I know what you mean. Good. Hey, hey, look at all that revenue. Green. I love it. I love green. Hey, what are you guys doing? Playing Monopoly? No <laughs> games today, Louis. No games today. My Tommy's been subpoenaed to appear before the Senate as a witness. A witness? Was there an accident? <laughs> no. They want him to testify on organized crime. Oh, well, they sure got the right guy, Mrs. G. He can tell them everything they want to know. No, no, no. I don't think that's the idea, you see. My Tommy's Squint. very smart. There's been a change of plans. You're to drive me to the airport, come right back here, and you help BB with all this money. Now, listen, while I'm gone, nothing, I mean nothing else is to happen here. Right? No one is to answer the door. No one is to enter the house, including Mazzucati and Schultz. And no one is to answer that phone. With all that's going on, it just might be bugged. You got it, Mr. G. That's a great green shirt. You look terrific. Thanks. Tommy, where's your blue shirt? It's in the case. I can change down there. I mean, I don't want to take any chances. I'm getting it dirty for the cameras. Now, listen, honey, more importantly, 
While I'm gone, here's the list of the payments that have to be taken care of. Now, make sure your amounts check out. Be sure you get the ones I have underlined down today, right? And, honey, be neat. I'll do my best, Tom. I'll see you tonight. Tommy, mm -hmm. now don't you forget to change your shirt. I won't, I won't. And don't forget to take your ear sickness pills. I won't. I won't. And don't forget to take the fifth. <laughs> Honey, the only thing I wish I was taking was you. <laughs> now, sweetheart, when you come home, we'll watch your appearance on TV, and then we're going to put on our own show in the bedroom. Oh, okay? wow, that's me. <laughs> Squint, get it going, huh? A terrific idea. Goodbye. Fresh, clean clothes lift your spirits. Give you that good, alive feeling. Go happy in your favorite outfit. Fresh as the first flower of spring. Enjoy the crisp, smart look that people notice. Wherever you go, look good and feel good in fresh, clean clothes. Who helps you look fresh and feel alive? One hour martinizing, 3,000 fine stores to serve you, coast to coast and around the world. One Hour Martinizing, the world's most popular dry cleaner. What a mess. I'm a prisoner in my own house. My husband's been taken away from me, and I'm stuck with a rotten job I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Mazakari and Schultz. Sounds like a foreign car in a beer. <laughs> what a joke. So who do you waste your taxpayers' money to watch? Me, doing my morning chores, trying to lead a normal life. Absolutely trying to lead a normal life. I have absolutely nothing to hide. <laughs> boy, oh boy, you think this is a picnic, Schultz? <laughs> and this is the easy part. The hard part comes figuring out who gets what. <laughs> the Thomas Giordano investment plan. <laughs> okay. Now, before I start, and since I hate to work alone, let's have some entertainment. $200 to the volunteer fire department for not volunteering to put out the fire at Sam and Luigi's Pizza Parlor. Plus, $100 to Fire Commissioner Hogan for saying the fire was not suspicious. Good move, Commissioner. And a bonus of $50 to the court stenographer for accidentally burning all the evidence. For $20,000, the big question of the day. Whose picture appears on the $1,000 bill? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Five, wait a four, minute. Three, Hold it. Two, one. Cleaver Groveland. That's the win for $20,000. Terrific, terrific, terrific. $20,000 for B.B. Giordano for being such a smart girl. <laughs> For forty thousand dollars, the bigger question of the day. Okay. It's five o'clock in London. What time is it in? What happened to the sound? <laughs> hey. <laughs> what is this? Oh, come on, not 
today. Come on. Come on, you. If Tommy comes home and he can't hear himself, he'll be furious. I've got to get this set fixed. I mean, what's the harm in letting a repairman into the house? <laughs> Repairmen are decent people. <laughs> here it is, here it is. Television sound repair. Charlie and Iris Audio, Inc. 249462. Hello, Charlie. Excuse me, Ira. Yes, well, this is Mrs. Giordano at Six Crescent Lane. The sound on my set just went, and I absolutely have to get it fixed today. So do you think you can come by around 4 o'clock? Oh, you're busy then? How about 2 o'clock? You're out to lunch. <laughs> when? In, in 20 minutes? Okay, okay, but uh, don't come in until I get everything back in the closet. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. One more thing, though. Your ad says you honor credit cards. Do you also honor cash? <laughs> You'll be here in 10 minutes? Wait! <laughs> well, hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm gonna do. Now, the first calibrated tires. Calibrated, a new general tire process that turns a tire into a precision instrument. Inspected, measured, and corrected by computerized equipment capable of detecting variations down to five thousandths of an inch. Calibrated tires, glass belted for strength and mileage. More precise, more perfectly matched than any general tires have ever been before. Expect these new glass belted precision instruments at your general tire dealers soon. There's a tough new generation of generals. There's a tough new generation of generals. Calibrated tires only from general. Hello. Hi. You must be Ira. Uh, no, I'm Charlie. Ira, he on his credit cards, I on a cash. <laughs> Why don't you come in? I just hope you can fix my set. Lady, I've been fixing sound ever since Edison invented it. I'll just see what's wrong. Okay. Look, I'm going to fix some lunch. Would you care for a sandwich? No, no, thanks. Well, perhaps in your line of work, a little TV dinner? <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, you see, I never eat when I work. It uh, interferes with my hearing. I never thought of that. I'm sure. Well, if you need me, I'll be in the kitchen. Oh, all right. Uh, excuse me, is it all right if I uh, call my office? Oh, sure. There's the phone. Thank you. TV dinner. <laughs> Oh, Ira? Charlie? Yeah, I'm at the Giordano place. Uh, listen, you got the Murphy set there, right? Yeah, the color went and it needs new rods. Now, now listen, forget about Johnson. You gotta take care of Murphy first. Well, then get some rods. And I'm also worried about the noise level. I think you're gonna have to use a silencer. <laughs> Well, look, I'm not too crazy about using silences either, but when you have to, you have to. And I want you to do a thorough job, check it out completely for bugs. This is one job we can't afford to botch up. We owe it to the man. He's got a contract with us. <laughs> oh, it shouldn't take me too long to finish here. All right, I'll talk to you later. Oh, how's your lunch? 
I was just munching on some salary. I couldn't hear a thing. Listen, once I get this fixed, you'll be hearing just fine. So tell me something. CIA stands for Charlie and Ira's audio? <laughs> Folks give me about it all the time. I come into the house and they think I'm gonna bump them off or gonna plant a bomb or a bug in their scent. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> Very funny. Can you imagine a guy like me being dangerous? I mean, can you imagine that? I can imagine that. What? I said, imagine that! CIA. I wasn't even in the service. I, I couldn't pass the hearing test. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. I was fixing. <laughs> hey, the FBI must have needed help. There's a CIA truck parked outside. <laughs> Lewis, I would like you to meet Charlie. Oh, hiya, Mr. Giordano. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm Squint. Oh, I work for Mr. Giordano. <laughs> In fact, I just took him to the airport. He went down to Washington to testify. No, he means uh, Mr. Giordano went to Washington to uh, test a fly. <laughs> what? what? My husband, my husband, he's a scientist. A scientist. He went to Washington to test some flies for a new flu vaccine. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> hey, right. Whatever you say, Mrs. G. Hey, you're fixing the set. Uh, no, I'm taking my blood pressure. <laughs> Boy, it must be broken. Hey, you're right. Twice in a row. That's terrific. The sound's gone. You know, I love this. I love wires. I love wires. That's... You an electrician? No, no, but sometimes in my line of work, I gotta take a guy's phone apart, so I go into... <laughs> hey, you wanna get out of the set? <laughs> Lewis, would you mind coming over here for a minute? I really wish to speak to you. Yeah, uh, I'll be right back. Wonderful. <laughs> What's going on, Mrs. G? You're really acting weird. He is not a TV man. Well, then why is he fixing your set? He is not fixing my set, Lewis. He's just pretending. He's planting a bomb or something, and his partner's back at the shop taking care of Murphy. Murphy? <laughs> Who's Murphy? How, how do you know all this? Mrs. G, have you been hitting the Galliano? Excuse me, Mrs. Giordano. This is gonna take a lot longer than I thought. You see, I hadn't planned on anybody <laughs> diving into the set. <laughs> uh, uh, can I use your bathroom, Oh, please? sure, sure. Take all the time you need. Oh, uh, where? Uh, first door on the right. Yeah, uh, do me a favor. Stay out of the set. No problem. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's probably connecting the bomb to the toilet. <laughs> Lewis, if he blows up this house, Tommy will kill me. We've got to move fast. All right, all right. Maybe I should lock him in the bathroom. From the outside? What kind of plan is that? That's not a good plan, is it? All right, all right, I'll go outside and take care of his truck. How? Well, I I'll go under the hood and rearrange the wires so that when he puts the key into the ignition, the windshield wipers fall off and the horn starts to blow. <laughs> but Mazzacani and Schultz watching? They won't care. It's not their truck. Oh. <laughs> Lewis, that's worse than your first plan. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. G. I didn't have any plans today. Well, keep thinking. Keep thinking. What, are you expecting anyone? No, no, no. I just hope it's not Ira. It's Rusko Niger. Rusko Niger, the boss of bosses, the biggest cop of them all. What's he doing here? I really don't know, but we need all the help we can get, Lewis. My poor child. <laughs> when I heard on the news that the Tommy had been summoned by that the kangaroo court in Washington, I knew that I must have come to his house at this moment of a tribulation to be with his beloved wife. It is a sad day, sad day indeed. Fresco, listen Excellency. to me. Excellency. Do, do that to my hand. <laughs> and get out of that TV set to explain. Squint, whatever. Fresco, listen to me. There's a madman loose in this house. I can see that. Get out of this house, Squint. <laughs> Not him, in the bathroom. But there's a madman loose in the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> Roscoe, 
He's gonna blow us all up. But why are you let him in? He came to fix my set. What is wrong with you say? <laughs> Rusko, not my set, the television set. Oh. He's pretending to be a repairman, but he's some sort of undercover agent. But why is he in the bathroom? I think he's washing up. <laughs> Does he know? Does he know you want to him? No, not yet. Then we shall surprise him. You armed? Here you are, Don Shepard. Uh, put that gun away before you make me die. No, 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 put it in your pocket. Now, when I say when, you will pull it on the assassin. Then we shall have some answers, eh? <laughs> Do not panic. This problem will be solved soon. I, Roscoe Najera, would handle this. <laughs> well, how is the Giordano? How is Washington? Shut up with your mouth and do not lie to my face. I am not a Giordano, and you are not a TV man. Huh? Now, Splint. Now, Splint. Squint! Now! <laughs> not to me, him! <laughs> hey, what's going on here? You want to put down that gun squirt? Squint! Uh, now squint. grab clouds. That's right, Mr. TV Man. You can drop the extra onto you. Oh, I think I'd better be going now. You will stay here, and I will handle this. Now, you, you will... will... confess. <laughs> you will admit that you came here to bug this house when you heard my Tommy was in Washington. You will also admit... <laughs> That you came here to blow us all up and your partner is back in the shop taking care of Murphy. You're <laughs> nuts. You're with the CIA. I'm with CIA, not the CIA. I already explained that. You already explained that. Then why do you want to blow us up? I don't go around blowing up people, especially scientists. Who's a scientist? Her husband, he tests flies. Oh, uh, shut up! <laughs> so you deny everything? I do. He's taken a fifth. He must be a crook. Let me put him for a laugh. I want a lawyer. Maybe we should wait till Tommy gets home. No. No. I, Rasko Najera, will handle this. Your truck says CIA. Your shirt says a CIA. CIA? Even your toolkit says CIA. It's our CIA. That can mean only one thing. Uh, what's that? You're with the FBI. <laughs> I think she's right. Why don't we wait till Tommy gets home? Good idea. Thank I you. Think you have to put the district in the closet. <laughs> no, not the closet. Put the creep in the bathroom. Put this creep in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that I, Roscoe Najera, would handle this? <laughs> In honor of her infinite patience, her courage, her unpredictability, and so much more, Koti has created Elan, our tribute to the American woman. I hope he cannot escape from that bat room. How can he escape? There are twelve inch bars on that window. <laughs> Besides that, he's under guard. It's not the twelve inch bars I am worried about. It's that the forty inch guard. Russell, <laughs> please help me finish up this money. Now. There's $150 here to the Police Athletic Club. Hey, don't give it to them. <laughs> give, it to, give it to the Sons of Italy. Sons of Italy. And make it $250. Amy, we're being attacked by the CIA. Tommy! Hey, Roscoe Najaro sitting on the couch. What the hell is going on here, Roscoe? Now, Tommy. Now, I know you told me not to let anybody in the house. But you see, the television set broke, and I had to call a repairman to fix it. But then, Tommy, I discovered 
that he was an undercover agent who came here to plant a bomb. <laughs> but I got another question. Where is he? In the bathroom. <laughs> What's he doing in the bathroom? Lewis has him under guard. Squint? You left him alone in the bathroom with Squint? Get them in here! Roscoe, Roscoe, you couldn't handle this? I handled it, I handled it. Uh, Everything is under control. Under control? That's what Custer said before the Indians came. <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr. Giordano. Uh, how are the flies? Flies? What's that supposed to mean? He's just trying to confuse you. Oh, well, why should he be different than anyone else? I'm telling you he was planting a bomb. Is that true? You were planting a bomb in my house? Listen, after spending four hours with this guy, I'll confess to anything. <laughs> Ask him about Murphy. Murphy? Who's Murphy? Murphy. Murphy? Murphy's probably dead by now, slain at the hands of Ira. Ira? Who's Ira? He's a partner! Listen, I think I can explain. Uh, I was using the phone and your wife heard me. I was using hey, shopping. Wait a minute. To your me. shirt says CIA. See. And your toolbox says CIA. C your truck says CIA. C That's going to mean only one thing. Here we go again. <laughs> You're with Charlie and Ira's audio. That's what I've been trying to tell them. <laughs> I knew it all along. Hey! Just a minute here now, just a minute, Tom. His store is owned by Johnny Leonardo. Who's Johnny Leonardo? He's our boss. And uh, how did you know? I've known him for years. So what? I'm his boss. <laughs> well, I am glad everything is solved. Yeah, so am I. This mental strain has made me very hungry. I will have some supper. Uh, Sprid, you will drive me to the restaurant. Hey, I knew it all along. Oh. <laughs> Ciao, baby. Thanks for your help, Roscoe. Mm. Be in the touch, Tommy. Hey. Mm. Mm. Get away from me, it's a squint. Whatever. Yeah, right, right. Oh, Mr. G, I almost forgot. How was the Senate? Oh. It was a piece of cake. Yeah. Well, did they ask you a lot of questions? 138. 138? Wow. How many did you get right? Three. <laughs> I wanted my supper. Yeah. I'll leave it there, love. Uh, uh, while I was in the bathroom, I worked on your bill, and I have it right here, and you can just put the cash in the mail in the... Uh, 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 thank you very much, and I already have a but for level, for level. <laughs> <laughs> Services rendered, overtime and meal money, and combat pay. <laughs> Tommy, $225. You see, I knew it. He is a crook. <laughs> he better be. He works for me. Georgia. It's a state of beauty, a state of adventure. It's mountains in the north, and homes of the future, and homes of the past. Georgia is 400 years of history. Georgia is a ride on the general, and an Indian attack at Stone Mountain, one of our huge entertainment centers. Georgia is baseball, and football, and every other major league sport. Georgia is family fun. From our lakes, to our historic seaports, to the Golden Isles. See Georgia, the state of adventure. For information, write Tourist Division, Department of Industry and Trade, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, Tommy, you look so smart and confident talking to those senators. And you see how the blue shirt reflects the light? I look terrific. But if I had known my wife was home playing war games, I wouldn't have looked so confident. Well, I was only watching out for you, you know. I know, I know. You should have never married outside of the family. <laughs> You should have married Vito Paganelli's daughter, but she had a limp. 
Her father owned Staten Island, you know. Are you sorry you married me? Why do they call you terrific? I'm sorry I refused to answer that question on the grounds that it may tend to incriminate me. 